Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice exponential equation. 3 to the power x cubed over 9 to the power x is equal to 81. And we need to find all possible values of x. 3 to the power x cubed divided by, we can write this 9 as 3 squared whole to the power this power x is equal to 80. 1. Next, 3 to the power x cubed divided by, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 2 by this power x. Like this, 3 to the power 2 times x, 2x is equal to 81. Now, according to this property of exponents, a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. We can write this 3 to the power x cubed over 3 to the power 2x as 3 to the power x cubed minus 2x is equal to, we can write this 81 as 3 to the power 4. Now, base is same at both sides. At left side, the base is 3 and at right side, the base is 3. So, we can write this exponent x cubed minus 2x equal to this exponent 4. Like this, x cubed minus 2x is equal to 4. Now, we move this 4 to the left side. x cubed minus 2x, this positive 4 becomes negative 4 at the left side is equal to 0. Now, this is a cubic equation and can be solved by factorization. Since 2 is a 2 is a factor of 2 is a factor of this 4, 2 is a factor of 4 and 4 is equal to 2 squared. So, we split this in negative 2x, we split this negative 2x as negative 4x plus 2x. We write this x cubed first, x cubed and we split this negative 2x as negative 4x plus 2x. And in the last we write this negative 4, negative 4 is equal to 0. Now, from these two terms, x cubed minus 4x, we can factor out x. x times, in bracket left, x squared minus 4. And from these two terms, plus 2x minus 4, we can factor out plus 2. Plus 2 times, in bracket left, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Next, x times x squared minus, we can write this 4 as, we can write this 4 as 2 squared. We write this 4 as 2 squared plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Next, x times according to this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. We can factorize this x squared minus 2 squared as x plus 2 times x minus 2 plus this 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this factor x minus 2, x minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this x minus 2, x minus 2 as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this x times x plus 2 and this plus 2. In bracket left x times 
x plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Next, x minus 2 times x times x x squared and x times plus 2 plus 2 x then this plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to 2. This is the first value of x. Now, to find the other two values we solve this quadratic equation. Since uh, this is not uh, factorable, we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and c is equal to 2. According to quadratic formula x is equal to minus value of b 2 plus or minus square root of value of b 2 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 2 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 8 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 8 negative 4 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of we can write this uh, negative 4 as 4 times negative 1 divided by 2. Next x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus we can write this uh, square root of 4 times negative 1 as square root of 4 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 and this is square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So, we replace this square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2. Next x is equal to now, from here we can factor out 2, 2 times in bracket left negative 1 plus or minus i divided by 2 and x is equal to this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and here left negative 1 plus or minus i. So, from here we get 2 values of x x 2 is equal to negative 1 plus i x 3 is equal to negative 1 minus i and uh, first we find the value of x 1 is equal to value of x 1 is 2. value of x 1 is 2. So, we have three solutions of this equation. This one is real and these two solutions are complex. Now, let us verify this value of x 2 that is real. To verify this value of x we put this in original equation. The original equation is 3 to the power x cubed divided by 9 to the power x is equal to 81. In this equation we put the value of x 2. 3 to the power value of x is 2 
cubed divided by 9 to the power value of x 2 is equal to 81. Next 3 to the power 2 cubed is 8 divided by we can write this 9 as 3 squared whole to the power this power 2 is equal to 81. Next 3 to the power 8 divided by according to this property of exponents a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n. We multiply this power 2 by this power 2. So, 3 to the power 2 times 2 4 is equal to 81. Now, according to this property of exponents a to the power m over a to the power n is equal to a to the power m minus n. We can write this 3 to the power 8 over 3 to the power 4 as 3 to the power 8 minus 4 is equal to 81. Next 3 to the power 8 minus 4, 4 is equal to 81 and 3 to the power 4 is 81 is equal to 81. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x 2 is correct.